We are in the company of greatness because you can call him the original celebrity <laughs> chef. Chef Martin Yan, the host of Yan Can Cook since 1979, is also an AARP ambassador. And he's here in the islands for the Chinese New Year to talk about starting the new year off right by living, cooking, and eating healthy. Good morning, chef. Thank you so much. I wake up early. You wake two. up early. Thank you very yeah. much. So talk about everybody out there because it's the new year. How can we start living a healthier life through cooking and eating? Now, first of all, I want to wish you Gong Hui Fa Choi. That means Happy New Year and prosperity. This is for you. Thank you very much. And Gong Hui Fa Choi. And, and uh, during Chinese New Year, or during any Chinese New Year, actually, it's the most important festival in the Chinese lunar calendar. And it's about sharing, about family, about reunion, just like Christmas, just like Thanksgiving. And the most important thing is eat healthy and stay healthy and live a long life. And Hawaii is a great place. So we have great food and fresh, fresh fish and everything to eat, right? Right. And a great, you know, fresh air. And the pace of life here is much slower. So it's good for you. It's not stressed out. And also during Chinese New Year, it's about tradition. Mm -hmm. Keep the tradition. Eat healthy. Eat First day of Chinese New Year, always vegetarian. Vegetarian, Very okay. Very say jai. Jai, that means it's a vegetarian dish. And this is really cleanse your system. Because you eat a lot of, right before Christmas, or right be around Christmas or New Year, you eat a lot of, a lot of food, a lot of turkey, a lot of things. And to Chinese New Year, the first thing is, eat vegetarian. Okay, that might, be, that might be hard for me because I like the roast pork and the... Well, the only have one, one meal, one no, meal, you yeah, remember, okay, okay. one meal. And then, of course, they always bring when you... It's tradition, you know? Mm -hmm. I love Hawaiian um, uh, Chinese family and Asian family. They keep the tradition. And the chi uh, Hawaii is a melting pot. Yep. So it's got a lot of uh, Filipino and Chinese. And actually, the, Chin the Chinese and the Japanese New Year, fall on the same, the new New Year, fall on the same, same day. day anyway. So always bring people good luck and good fortune. Orange and tangerine and just in the color of gold. Now, I, healthy. I understand you have a great connection here to Hawaii. Can you tell us about that? This is my favorite vacation spot. Every year I come. Every time I have time, <laughs> I will come. I take my whole family and I've been coming here for probably 38 years. It's a great place. People are so w welcoming and so friendly, and the food is so good. Everything is so fresh, and I got a lot of friends here, like Sam Choi, uh, uh, Alan Wong, and um, um, uh, Roy Yamaguchi, and Tyler Zinn, all my good friends. You, my good oh. friend, everybody, my good friend in Hawaii. Everybody, you feel welcome. You come to Hawaii. That's a great place to be here. And you had a great event yesterday as well, right? Well, we have close to six or seven hundred people, and I think they turned down another thousand. <laughs> I don't know why. It just, we just miss you both. Okay. You know? And since Chinese New Year is coming up in a couple of weeks, what are some of your traditions and what does it mean to you? Well, first of all, you always have to have fish. Always have to have fish? Have whole fish. Fish is, means you, you means plentiful. And also abundance. You always have to have fish. Always serve fish. And then you always serve chicken. Chicken's a phoenix. Okay. And then you always serve lobster because dragon. You know, lion dance, dragon, and then always have lettuce. Lettuce, okay. Lettuce, lettuce, because lettuce is choy. Fa choy. Gong hei fa choy. That's why you go gong hei fa choy. Now, does it have to be like red fish? Or because like red is like good luck, right? That's why we have the Right well, up. you can have a, a steamed fish, mm -hmm. or you can have a, a whole fish with a sweet and sour sauce, which is red. Mm, that sounds good. What's your favorite fish? I love uh, ahi. You love ahi? I love, I love pokey. So, because <laughs> I, I make a lot of pokey at home, with ahi, and I ship, I actually fly over to Hawaii, to Oahu, and buy some ahi, and go home and fix my <laughs> pokey. Now, you've been doing this since 1979. I got to ask, how do you still do it? You know, passion. Just like you, you know. We get up very early in the morning. Sometimes when you go on location, you get up at 4 o'clock in the morning. You didn't get back to the hotel until 11. And I, you, you're on the road for 65 days. So the thing is, when you love what you do, you don't have to work a day of your life. It's my pleasure. It's my passion. And I love to eat. I love to share. That's the mo most important thing. Just like you, you get up early in the morning. You know that whatever you say, uh, impactful. A lot of people watching. And you, whatever you say, you influence a lot of people. Because important news, 
right? Yeah. That's why we wake up too. <laughs> we are in the company of greatness, everybody. <laughs> you can call him the original celebrity chef, Chef Martin Yang. Thank you so much for coming. Happy New Year. Gong Hei Fa Choi. Thank you very Happy much. Happy New Year. <laughs>